Hey guys, welcome to TJ's Kitchen. For today's video, I'm going to show you how to make some zucchini bread. We have lots of zucchini growing in the garden and this is my favorite way to use them up. So let's get started. I first start off by grating some zucchini. I used about two uh, large zucchini for this recipe. More than I usually do, but we just have so much I wanted to use it up. And it turned out really good. So in a bowl, I'm going to measure out my dry ingredients. First, I'm going to do my flour. Going to add the cinnamon, salt, and then baking soda. And I'm going to give it all a quick little mix and set it aside while I get my wet ingredients together. So in a larger bowl, I'm going to measure out my brown sugar and my white sugar. Then I'm going to add in my melted butter as well as my avocado oil or any sort of neutral oil here. And I'm going to mix it all together just until it's combined. Then I'm going to add in three eggs. Going to give everything a nice mix and then add in my vanilla extract and give it one last little mix there. Then I'm adding in the grated zucchini. I like adding this in before the dry ingredients, just find it distributes a little bit better. Then I will be adding in the dry ingredients. I mix at first and then about halfway I switch over to a spatula. I just find it mixes a bit better at this point with the dry ingredients. Then I'm adding my chocolate chips. You don't need to use chocolate chips. I just like it a lot better with. And nuts. I actually just crush these by hand. I like the different sizes, the bigger ones, the smaller ones. I think it adds a nicer texture to it. Then I'm using my spatula to just give this a nice fold, making sure not to overmix. Then in a loaf pan lined with parchment paper, I'm just kind of spooning it in there. And I'm just filling it until it's full and putting it into a 350 degree oven for about 45 to 50 minutes. You want to kind of check it at around 45 minutes. If it needs more time, it in a little bit longer and that is it I hope 